Hey kids, we are so excited that you are here joining us at Church Online. In this month of June, we have a very important focus of the month. That focus is faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. Did you take a moment to think about the question from last week? What are things you believe that you can't see? There's air, we can't see it, but when we breathe, we feel it going in and out of our lungs, so we know it's there. What about the sound that you are hearing right now? You can hear the words coming out of my mouth and through your screen, but you can't actually see the sound. In today's Bible story, we will be hearing about a similar occurrence to one man who heard a voice but could not see anything. We will see how this encounter made this man completely change his ways and turn to spreading the gospel all over. Now let's stand together and praise God in worship as we open up our hearts to hear a great message. Top for me, please. Mm -hmm. Prepping the top. 
Top is prepped. Prep the base. Prepping the base. Base is prepped. Mm -hmm. Tweezers. Tweezers. Here's where it gets really delicate. Mm -hmm. Wipe, 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 Closing it up. <laughs> you did it. Nah. We did it. <laughs> uh. yeah, feed me. Feeding you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> mm. Mm. It's good. Mm hmm. Hello everyone, my name is Brandon. And I am John. This is the so-and-so show, buddy, you okay? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, Brandon. I'm, I'm focused and no one's gonna catch me not focusing. Oh, what was that? Did you lose your focus? Oh, man! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do better this time. Why, John? Brandon, Why? I have struggled with being able to focus my whole life. There is, are always things competing for my attention. Yeah, like like having guests on the show. Yes, exactly, like having a guest on the show. It, it totally breaks my concentration. It's time for someone who knows stuff. <laughs> Seat. <laughs> yep, right there. Okay. One moment, please. All righty. What are you, um... Hello, guten tag. How are you both? We're focused. We're good, Hans, thank you so much. Can you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Hello, my name is Hans Decibel. I am an audio engineer with a recent interest in Foley artistry. Uh -huh. And what is that exactly? I am so glad you asked this question to me. Thank you. Many of the sounds we hear in film and in television are not recorded live, but are inserted after the fact by a Foley artist. Oh, that's very interesting. So yeah. if I'm watching a movie and, yeah. and uh, I see someone walking up some, some creaky stairs, yeah. the stairs don't actually have to be creaky. They can be added later by a Foley artist. The this sounds. Yeah. is correct. Wow, that's, that's cool. W yeah. What's in the suitcase? I have brought with me here today a selection of audio properties that I use in the creation of my sound effects. I will now make the sound, and you will guess what is the sound. Oh, so it's like a game. Yeah. I have brought blindfolds. Oh, man. Okay, All right. here, put it in my hand, and then I gotta look down. Okay. Right. Okay, I All guess right. it goes okay. like that. Huh. Okay. Oh, this makes it really hard to focus. Okay, John, you can focus with your uh, ears, too, you know? Oh, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Listen. That's right. All right. All right, right, right. Okay, ready. Very good. That's the sound of a suitcase opening. This is correct. He hasn't started yet, John. Whatever, I am focused. Yeah. Okay, sound number one. Oh, oh, oh that, that, that sounds like my dog, Brutus, running down the hallway to greet me when I get home from work. Is that you, Brutus? Come here, Brutus, come here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have fooled you. This was not Brutus, but the sound of paper clips oh. on a cutting board making the tippy-tappy sound of canine claws on laminate flooring. Sound number two. Oh, uh, that's a horse! This is correct. <laughs> number three. Oh, I know. Oh man, that sounds just like a bird flapping its wings. Whoa, where is it? <laughs> Sound number four. Oh, it's so cold in here. Is this snow on the ground? <laughs> 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 
No! It is just a bag of cornstarch. Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm slipping. I, I hope I don't fall and break a bone. Ouch! Oh. Oh. It's a pain. Ouch! Are, are, you, are you all right? Do we need to call an ambulance? Ah. Uh, ah. What? I have fooled you again. This was only the sound of celery ribs. Oh! Wow, that was incredible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll never look at celery the same way again. Mm. And yeah. cornstarch, that's amazing. Yeah, this is correct. <laughs> Ordinary things become extraordinary when you open your eyes and ears to the possibility. Oh, that's a really cool way to put it. I will the... now explore the space to find ordinary things to make extraordinary. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, okay. I think this is a good idea. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. oh! What in the world? Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! I have fooled you for a third time by dropping this box of knives and forks on the ground. I made you believe I was destroying your room. It is a good joke. Yes, yes, that's very funny. You know what? I think that's all the time we have. Hey! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Okay, my focus is completely gone now. Then let's get back on track. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Kellen. Kellen! Oh, oh. <laughs> hey guys, sorry about that. What you listening to? Oh, um, I was listening to an old time radio show. That's what people did for home entertainment before television. I used to listen to them as a kid. How old are you, Kellen? Actually, I think it would be really cool if we could tell today's story like an old radio show with sound effects and everything. Is Han still there? Yeah. How did you? Take it away, Kellen. Okay. I now present Saul on the Road to Damascus, radio style. Jesus had been killed, and the people who didn't like what Jesus stood for thought they heard the last of him. But then a rumor started going around that Jesus came back from the dead, and more and more people were becoming followers of a new Jesus movement called The Way. They had to be stopped and one of the people in charge of stopping them was Saul of Tarsus. <laughs> I am Saul of Tarsus, and I shall do everything I can to oppose Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> you there! Who? Me? Yes, you. Are you a follower of the way? I am! Seize him! <laughs> Saul went from place to place to find Jesus' followers and have them put in the jail. And even put to death. Saul asked permission from the high priest to travel to other cities so he could arrest even more followers of the way. And that's why Saul was traveling on the road to Damascus. Saul and the men he was traveling with had letters that gave Saul permission to arrest any Jesus follower he wanted. He was determined to complete his mission. He was focused. But then an incredible thing happened. A light from heaven flashed all around Saul and his companions. Saul fell to the ground and he heard a voice. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. The men with Saul heard a sound but they were unable to speak. The men helped Saul to his feet, but when Saul opened his eyes, he couldn't see anything. So he had to be led to Damascus by hand. For three days, Saul didn't eat or drink anything. 
What will happen next? Will Saul regain his sight? Will he continue to oppose Jesus? You'll have to wait until next time to find out. You can't leave it like that, Kellen. That's how all old time radio shows end. You always have to wait until next time. Or you can read what happens next yourself. It's right here in Acts chapter nine. I don't like waiting. All right then. Besides, there's a lot to learn with just this part of the story. Saul was so focused on his mission that he was missing what was really important. It took a bright light on a road for God to really get Saul's attention. Okay, I get it. So focusing is a bad thing. No, I just think we need to check in with God a lot more to make sure we're focused on the right things. Great idea. Thanks, Kellen. Mm -hmm. Yep. You guys know where I'll be. I'll see you around. That was fun. I agree. Hey. Much ha fun. Hans, you're still here. Yeah. yeah. I am here to say. Reveal the question. Maybe a little more energy. Ah. Reveal the question. That worked. Yeah. Uh, the question of the day is, how does God try to get your attention? Hey, that's a good question. You know, he's never appeared to me in a bright light, I can tell you that. <laughs> me either. Hans? Yeah. Many times. How does God try to get your attention? Is it like a small voice inside you or a big crack of thunder? Or is it something we've never thought about? Mm -hmm. Talk about it together. Yeah. Sound waves, so mysterious. Mm, you're telling me. Hey, we'll see you next time on the So and So Show. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that me? Yeah. Oh, all right. Brandon, do you know what today is? I do, John. What it's is it? our 150th episode. It's true. 150 episodes. That's right. So let's celebrate. Hey, count down with me, everybody. Come on, come on. Ready? Ten, Ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, hack! I'll see you next week? Yeah. I mean. <laughs>
not helping. The religious leaders in Jerusalem did everything they could to squash the new movement. They even arrested a leader among the Jesus followers named Stephen. After telling lies about him, they dragged him outside the city. This man is a disgrace. Saul stood by and held the coats of the men who picked up stones and threw them at Stephen until they killed him. If Stephen had just let go of this Jesus nonsense, he wouldn't have had to die. It's terrible. I hear people are following the way of Jesus in other cities too. What? Inconceivable. Saul quickly became known for hunting down people who believed in Jesus. When he discovered that some Jews in Damascus were following Jesus, he went straight to the high priest. Ah, this Jesus thing is spreading everywhere. I'm aware. They think he's alive. Hashtag, yup. Someone should do something. I hope you have something constructive to say. Give me letters to the synagogues in Damascus so I can arrest all the believers and bring them back here. Now you're talking. Saul set off for Damascus with the blessing of the high priest. He traveled with a group of men to arrest the believers they found. After days on the road, they neared the city. There it is. We'll make it by lunch. No, we must take time to pray. As he did three times every day, Saul stopped and turned to Jerusalem to pray. Certain God was on his side. Dear Lord, help me to catch every single one of those despicable Jesus people. Suddenly, a light more brilliant than the midday sun blazed down around Saul. He staggered, fell to the ground, squeezing his eyes shut against the glare. Saul, Saul, why are you opposing me? Saul gasped. It felt as though the whole earth shifted beneath him. Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus. I am the one you are opposing. The men around Saul stared in horror and confusion, unable to speak. They could see no one, but heard a sound, perhaps like a roar of thunder. Now get up and go into the city. There you will be told what you must do. Saul reeled. He struggled to his feet and finally opened his eyes. He saw nothing, only darkness. What, what's happened? You tell us, we saw the light, and you fell, and this sound, and then you said- I can't see. What? I can't see, I've been blinded. Uh, that's not good. Here, take my hand. Saul grasped the man's hand and shuffled a few steps forward. Who are you talking to? I. I think, I think it was Jesus. You heard Jesus? I heard Jesus. Saul's companions led him into Damascus, where he stayed at the home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. Uh, want something to eat? I'm not hungry. Or water? Not thirsty. For three days, Saul wrestled with himself and God. He'd come face to face with the very man he knew was dead, but discovered that Jesus was very much alive. Now blind, Saul was forced to see everything in a brand new light. How do you think you would have reacted if a big voice came booming out of the sky? Not only that, but you lost your sight for the next three days. It would be scary, but many people when put in this situation of difficulty sometimes get caught of thinking of the bad more than looking forward into the good. Thankfully, Paul heard the voice of Jesus and chose to travel onward to where he was told instead of turning away from the advice. Whether or not you have experienced extreme difficulty or have been lucky enough to have minor inconveniences in your life, God is always with you for encouragement, growth, and wisdom. This leads us to the question of the day. How does God try to get your attention? My follow-up question to that is, when was the last time you stopped to listen for God? Sometimes we are so busy between activities or we are so distracted by the newest trend on YouTube that we don't remember to shut down and dedicate some time to sit and listen to the Lord. He is always there, but if you do not find the time to hear him, it's gonna be really hard to see and hear what God's message is for you. God is always trying to show us something and sometimes it isn't how we want to see it. That leads us to our bottom line for this week. 
Knowing Jesus changes the way you see everything. We stand for a strong purpose with Jesus on our side, and it is such a blessing to constantly look at the teachings of Jesus in the Bible to get a new way of looking at things, a new perspective. And this new mindset all comes from taking the first step in making Jesus the leader of your life. If you are unsure of your relationship with Jesus or have yet to choose to make him the leader of your life, there will be a prayer that will appear shortly on the screen to help you with that. Grab a grown-up to help you pray this prayer and take the first step, having Jesus by your side so that no matter what you encounter in life, you can see it through the eyes of Jesus. On. I'll hold my ground I'm gonna crash the lies of the enemy I won't back down 